Peggy 7. My name's Steve Barker. I'm a LEGO Universe partner living in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I'm a member of VicLug, our local LEGO users group, and uh, I'm a fan of LEGO. Welcome to my LEGO room. Adult fans of LEGO, AFOLs, uh, we're definitely a breed apart, I think. Somebody just the other day referred to me as a Peter Pan, and I think we all have an element of that in our lives. All of us never quite grew up completely, which I think is a very good thing. Um, if nothing else, I think being an AFOL keeps you young. Um, or you could look at it the other way, that the Lego is keeping us young, that this you know, hobby with uh, playing with small plastic toy bricks is keeping the child alive in all of us. Victoria, B.C. is the capital of our province, British Columbia, and uh, it's a university town, uh, a government town as, a, as the capital, and in my opinion, a very beautiful place. I kind of have a bit of a, a Frankenstein roster of different jobs that I'm doing at any given moment. I'm a stage manager for an opera company. I also do what's called high rigging and steel rigging for arena events. I'm a tour guide, a docent at the Victoria Bug Zoo, so I dealing with kids and families and animals all at the same time. I'm a, I'm a puppeteer for a television program. But each of these jobs affords me a little bit of flexibility. I can maybe choose my hours or count on certain blocks of free time, and uh, that's the time that I use to focus on LEGO Universe and, of course, my own building. I've been a LEGO fan for many years now, um, but I think that uh, the real current state of affairs started when uh, I met uh, a group of guys locally here who uh, together we founded a club, VicLug, the Victoria LEGO Users Group. Our VicLug club now has, uh, I believe, 11 members, the majority of which from the greater Victoria area. And we really sort of feed off of each other in an interesting way. It's not exactly a one-upmanship, but definitely a, a support and a, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? We definitely, yeah, we enabled each other. <laughs> The first experience that players will have in LEGO Universe is to be given the chance to create their own custom LEGO minifig map, and then once they're satisfied with what they've got, launch themselves into the game and go and explore. I think those, uh, those first few moments of gameplay are going to be awfully impressive to anyone because the, the richness of the world is, is really quite cool. I, uh, I'm constantly impressed by everything that, Let, that NetDevil and LEGO have been able to pour into their universe. It's, uh, it's a, a very compelling world. My involvement with LEGO Universe has been an amazing ride. I mean, from the very early days where we were very first invited to come on board and we were basically given access to a massive amount of LEGO bricks and told, build what you see in your mind. Build what you imagine the end product of the game to look like. And it was a very, very fun couple of days. The following year, we were back again and by that time, NetDevil had uh, been able to produce uh, a usable tool set that they could uh, show to us and uh, start training us on how to implement the ideas that we have in our minds and get them into the virtual world that they were starting to build themselves. Being able to really start to see for the first time the way that our work was going to be incorporated as well. The most recent LEF event it has taken that a step even further still. We did almost all of our work completely within the computer. We were invited to create landscaping. We were invited to create objects to populate the world that we imagined. We were invited to start to think about stories and missions and all the things that create a game, a great game. And uh, I can sort of see the big picture for the first time. The game itself has so much growth potential um, through the official content that they're planning on adding, but of course, users like myself. I am the team lead of uh, one of the six LUP teams. Uh, our team is called Sector 6. As a team, Sector 6 tries to meet at least once a week online. We now have immediate and total access to the tool set required for developing LEGO Universe, and uh, also have a communication avenue through it to, uh, to share with each other within the team and directly to the NetDevil office in Colorado. They get up to this point, and then they kind of see the whole town and get this vista. I love that reveal of the town, just love it. This sort of little pipeline that we all have access to now is a, a key component of how the ideas that we as LEGO Universe partners have are going to eventually make their way into the game itself. It's an honor to be a LEP. 
And we get to do so much. We really feel like we are acknowledged as true contributors to Lego Universe. There's no subject that's off limits for us. There's nothing that we can't suggest or can't uh, bring forward for them, and they listen to it all. And more often than not, we see it come to fruition too. We're just gonna rock this game. <laughs>